Front and center at last week's conservative political action conference, or CPAC, was the rise of the far-right news site, Breitbart.com. It's where Donald Trump's top advisor, Steve Bannon, was chief editor before joining the administration. Trump's most significant donor, the billionaire hedge fund manager Robert Mercer, has also invested millions of dollars in the media company. Breitbart's become an alternative news source for people who ascribe to Bannon's philosophy that the mainstream media is the enemy, something he, along with Trump, emphasized here at CPAC several times. They're corporatist, globalist media, the mainstream media or opposition party. They are absolutely dead wrong about what's going on today. Breitbart's also sustained Bannon's nationalist agenda, which includes a plan not only to preserve America's economy, but what he defines as its distinct culture. We are a nation with a, a culture and a, uh, and a reason for being. Much of the buzz here at CPAC, which 10,000 people attended this year, centered around one of Bannon's cultural stars and former colleagues at Breitbart. Milo Ianopoulos, who was slated to be a keynote speaker for the event, fell from grace last month after comments he made defending pedophilia surfaced on the internet. He's since lost a book deal, resigned from Breitbart, and lost his invitation to speak at CPAC. We are okay with having controversy on the stage at CPAC, but there are boundaries. Milo has served a specific role in Bannon's campaign to reshape American culture, which is to use his young, gay, Jewish persona to stretch the previously limited boundaries of what conservatives could say about transsexuals. This is a psychiatric disorder. African Americans. Sorry, right, give it 20 minutes. The uh, statistics for black incarceration are about to go up. White privilege. No, 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 the Marx scheme favors white men. Give me a fucking break. And other civil rights issues in America. He is starting conversations that a lot of people like myself and others of my color and my um, so quote unquote privileged background as the left would like to say wouldn't take serious. So coming from him, he's able to say things that are actually very true about um, situations going on in this country with Muslims and he can get away with it. I don't mind poking the bear when it comes to making making the people on the left a little uncomfortable and unhappy. I, I, I do, I don't. Do you feel like it comes at the expense of uh, groups that are actually marginalized in the United States though? Yeah, I guess it can. I mean, I guess it can. But listen, I, isn't it the old? Isn't the old Adam here? And I mean, it doesn't didn't he get away with all those years because he was a, because he was a gay man, even though he was a conservative? He was a gay conservative. So basically, because of his identity, he got away with. Oh, the absolutely. Same. He says his main his main issue is free speech, and you know that's why he tries to really, you know, penetrate the college campus. You know, is hate speech free speech? No, it's not. I don't think it is. What's the difference between my, what Milo says and hate speech? What Milo says and hate speech, I don't know. I, I'm not sure if that there's, you know. I'm trying to think how I define hate speech. I have to think about that. In the statement he gave last week, where he resigned from Breitbart, Milo said his castigation by the mainstream would fail and that he would continue his work on free speech through the creation of a new media venture he would announce in the coming weeks. My full focus is now going to be on entertaining and educating everyone, left, right, and otherwise. Bannon's plan for America is about turning the country's legacy of racism, sexism, and bigotry on its head, using the anger and frustration of the American working class. Most people at CPAC felt as if they were the victims in today's political climate and that what Milo did was rectify the right's rhetoric where many feel the mainstream and Hollywood shut it down. I think the way that white liberals talk about working people from West Virginia is as bad as how David Duke talks about Jews. It's the same exact thing. But these people went to Harvard or Princeton or they live on Park Avenue. So they're not like David Duke because they're here and he's there. They're the same thing. They are the same thing. They really misunderstood how many people are out there angry and scared. And I think that's why you see 29 million people going to Breitbart. There's a lot of angry and scared people out there who believe their voices weren't being listened to. You know, I think I was probably one of them. And, you know, we came out and voted. The enthusiasm was all on our side this time. For The Real News, Thomas Hedges, National Harbor, Maryland.